Hey everybody, this is Kevin over at BibleWellness.com. I want to talk about the urgency for the need, the urgent need for the Holy Spirit of God, meaning the urgent need to have the mind of Christ, of the Spirit of God dwelling on the inside, so that you're able to uh, carry out a life uh, that is um, that is acceptable to the Father. Um, we there's a real urgent need for the Holy Spirit in that we're living in a world that is full of calamities, full of disasters, full of uh, all types of uh, things going on on a wide scale and then also on a, on a personal scale you know we all have a lot of we all have circumstances, trials, troubles, situations, issues that we're all going through that uh, that uh, it's hard to deal with by itself but if you don't have the the, uh, the Holy Spirit you won't be able to, to make it through these things undefiled, unblemished Un, um, um, you won't you won't be unwrinkled uh, when God comes back for a, bride, a mature bride that is without blemish, is undefiled, is um, acceptable. Um, so this is why this there's a real need for the Holy Spirit. Um, the human mind is at odds with the mind of Christ. Without the Spirit, the mind is subject to the power of Satan and cannot attain it to the way of God. Um, however, you could you know you could break this cycle uh, through seeking the Lord and calling upon His name and having Him fill you up with His Spirit, so that uh, you can be a, a a powerful representative of Christ uh, with power and authority. And we have to remember that we're in a spiritual war. This is spiritual warfare, and you have to have the spirit of Christ in order who has defeated all and brought all under his subjection. Without that, you are um, subject to the powers of the air. Uh, you are subject to uh, Satan, the prince of the air. And Satan is using, uh, there's a couple of things that works against us and why the need for the Holy Spirit is so urgent. And that time is finite. You know, um, everybody has a date with death. You know, if 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 God um, delays His coming, so you know, sooner sooner or later, we're all gonna have to meet Mr. Death. And all the enemy seeks to do is just run out the clock on you um, with uh, distractions like Facebook and other social media sites. Uh, uh, television with with a lot of the television shows like American Idol and and just to name a few and we got and your cell phones you know I'm noticing that just having a cell phone or a tablet it's just got got people into a virtual reality that that uh, they're just um, just zoning out so we have to be mindful of these things that these things are nothing more than there's tools and trinkets, toys and trinkets that the enemy is using to try to run out the clock on us. And then also we have another thing working against us, which is our packaging, our carnal nature. Um, our carnal nature has appetites uh, that uh, cannot be brought under full subjection, control, unless you have the Holy Spirit of Christ. Uh, our carnal nature is, uh, hate, is enmity, meaning it is an enemy of God and does not want to be brought under subjection which leads us into uh, all types of things we all come from somewhere we all come from a messy life you know some of us have strong desires to steal uh, kill uh, destroy annihilate some of us have strong strong desires to just be promiscuous and engage in uh, all types of uh, uh, sexual activity that is not pure and, and I, especially outside of uh, um, the covenant relationship of a marriage um, so and then also some of us just like to party and just like to just have a good time um, these are all desires of the flesh that the enemy is using against us uh, to to make sure that we stay in opposition to the Heavenly Father and uh, to make sure that uh, you know misery loves company so he knows where he's going in the final equation and he wants to take the image of God with him he hates men um, so the enemy has devised a system of bondage, which is what we see today, what we the system we live in today, the current the current paradigm under which we operate and exist is one of bondage. <coughs> we can see this in uh, Ephesians six and twelve, in that the world we live in is has an overlay of a spiritual 
empire that is run by the following by devil by the devil the enemy of our souls who seeks to destroy us because we are made in the image of God God loves you you are beautiful the enemy hates you and he wants to defile and make you as ugly as possible before he takes you out um, so it's essential that we receive the Spirit of God on this side of the grave in order to be prepared prepared for the next life you know this life is nothing more than just a, a test a trial uh, a simulation of, of things to come this uh, this this life is very short and temporary in comparison to the reward of eternal life with the Father. So we got to remember this whole thing is just a test. It's it's I guess you could equate it with a movie or a game, a simulation, or or something of that nature. In that uh, the things we experience here are preparing us for the life to come. So. It's, it's important to have the Holy Spirit so that you can fulfill your destiny, your purpose uh, for which you were created, which is number one is to serve the Father. And number two, we all have personal, we have all have um, individual tasks to carry out in this uh, short life. Uh, so we're, you know, the Spirit brings us into harmony with God uh, by the blood of the Lamb of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. We don't have the opportunity to be in fellowship with the Creator and not in opposition with the, with the Creator. In the beginning God created us good. We were in harmony. The uh, enemy of our souls seduced Adam and Eve and led, them, led mankind into rebellion. So just by our very natures that we're uh, a copy of Adam and we're descended from Adam means that we need a Savior and Jesus Christ paid that debt for us. You just have to either accept that debt payment or not accept it and once you accept it you become into relationship with God um, so have and coming in relationship with the Father and accepting his spirit on the inside you're filled with his spirit and are enabled to carry out uh, uh, the walk of Christ in your life you're able to walk with power and authority over the spiritual uh, demonic forces that seek to keep you in bondage uh, through Christ you are made free and you are given the power to walk in freedom which is very important in today's world you know, people will tell you that you will always have vices and struggles uh, but it's, it doesn't have to be you can walk free you can be free you this is this is why there's an urgency to make sure that you're operating you have the Spirit of God in your life um, so with that you know the, the choice is simply yours it's either life or death and uh, the Father is, is, is pressing upon us that we make sure that we are in relationship with him because we are headed for some dire times that uh, the likes of which mankind has never experienced even though the things that we see in this world are not new there's nothing new under the sun uh, the level at which um, the troubles will attain to will be like none other. So with that, uh, this is Kevin over at BibleWellness.com just pressing the, the importance and the need uh, that you have the heart of God dwelling, the mind of Christ dwelling on the inside so that you can live with power and authority and, and uh, bring your, your flesh, your carnal nature, your desires under subjection. And, and live a lifestyle that is undefiled, uh, without spot or blemish. And if you do fall, get back up. That gives you the power to get back up. Um, you have an, you have an advocate with the Father. So, just as Kevin at BibleWellness.com, leave your name, leave your comments, your criticisms. Uh, hopefully, these are words of encouragement. But also, hopefully, hopefully these are words that uh, deliver urgency. And make and uh, kind of press through those um, chores and errands that are those 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 distractions that are seeking your attention. And with that, hope look forward to talking to you guys uh, real soon. May the grace of Jesus be with you always.